Hi YouTube, this is a sped up pineapple painting. Um, this is a bit faint at first, but this is how I quite often start my watercolour paintings. I do like a pencil outline first, um, and then I start shading it in. Now, you don't have to shade it in, obviously you could just do it as an outline, and then you could go straight in with paint. But I find um, by adding the pencil, um, it's beneficial in a couple of ways really. Like the, the grey of the pencil, neutralizes your paint colors a little bit and just makes the whole thing look more um, kind of realistic in the end I think a bit more natural looking um, and also uh, obviously it gives you a guide as to where to put your paint when you get to the painting stage if it's all there for you already all drawn in and you've got all the detail in there and also a lot of the tones uh, it just means when you put your washers on even after you've got your first washes on, it starts to look realistic quite quickly. Uh, and then, like I say, you've got a guide where to put all your detail stuff as well. Um, so you can see here, I'm just going along, just shading all the different kind of scales on the pineapple. Um, here's the first wash. This is just a yellow ochre flat wash over the whole thing. Uh, and at the top of the pineapple here, this is oxide of chromium, just as a flat wash. Um, and then I let it dry at this point, so you can see the highlight there um, just fading, and then I come back in. Um, and this is just building up the colours uh, bit by bit. You, hopefully you can make out the colours in my um, palette there. Um, there's various kind of uh, reddish browns, like English red, that kind of thing. Um, here I'm just using Oxide of Chromium again, but just a darker mix of it just to go in and get a few kind of shadows into these uh, leaves of the pineapple. Um, the other thing I was going to say is the pineapple that you can actually see there, um, it looks really, really dark in this video. And what I was seeing looked completely different. And I've taken a photograph of it at the end of this when it's finished. I took a photo just to show you what the pineapple looked like really from my point of view, because um, I was seeing it as, a completely different angle to how you're seeing it now and also all of the blacks and things you're seeing in the pineapple I couldn't see that at all it was much lighter what I was looking at um, and I think my painting is better for that I think if I'd have done it how you're seeing it in this video it would have ended up looking very black um, and yeah not you wouldn't see so much of the detail so here you can see, I mean, this is <laughs> sped up. You're seeing all of this in about, I think, four minutes. Uh, I don't know how many hours I spent on this, but it was quite a few. Um, I've done another pineapple. Um, if you look at my uh, video of my portfolio, you'll see in there somewhere there's a, there's a pineapple that took me about 20 hours, I think. So even longer than this one. So this is just me going in with darker and darker washes just going in and applying them into some of these bumps and things um, this bumpy effect of the sort of scales of the pineapple you're just applying like little curves really and then just blending them all in together and trying to leave just highlights here and there on the leaves what you're trying to do is just gradually build up darker and darker I mean you could go really dark straight away and try and do it all in one kind of hit but what I do is I build up sort of mid-tone washes or lighter washes over top of each other and just keep building them up one after the other because I find they blend in better um, okay and then what I do like towards the end of this I just go in and just apply darker bits to the corners right this is me putting a shadow underneath the pineapple um, I know the pineapple that I'm painting is resting on something and it's at a completely different angle but I wanted my pineapple in the picture not to be floating in space so I put a Payne's grey um, wash underneath it as a shadow okay here's the actual pineapple um, from the sort of point of view that I was seeing it you can see it's much lighter if you look at the leaves and things okay I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, hit subscribe to see uh, other videos that I do in the future thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.